Hollow Knight is said to be one of the best single-player games ever created. But what if we made it multiplayer? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Taco Cup, the world's first Hollow Knight PvP tournament featuring 16 of your favorite Hollow Knight creators. We have Frankie Templar, Fireborn, Adi, Axe to You, Mossbag, CC Makai, Mafulu, Boochmaster, Scurry, Sira, Hunt Hustle, Blue, Stizzle, Anonymous Shade, Sisipi, Atriarch, are all fighting it out for the trophy and 1,000 US dollars. Yep, you heard that right. And I am paying this prize pool out of my own pocket. Um, there's no sponsor here. Anyways, let's continue with the video. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you're going to see drama. You're going to see love. You're going to see war. You're going to see comedy. You're going to see everything that a gaming tournament could offer. I've been working on this video for over one and a half years. And I am so excited to finally be able to share it with y'all. Let me quickly explain the rules. Players were matched up in one-on-one -on -one fights to the death. The first round was played best of five, meaning that the first person to win three maps moves on to the next round, while the other person drops down to the loser's bracket. So that means even if you lose a match, you still have a chance to get back to the finals, but you will have to win a lot more matches in order to do so. Now, with that out of the way, please enjoy the Taco Cup 2021. First match is going to be Blue against Bushmaster. Blue, what is your first pick? My first arena pick is gonna be Lost Kin. Lost Kin, all right. Three, two, one, go! As you can see right here, we had a custom health bar mod, which lets us see both players' health, but the players themselves still only see their own HP. I want to say a massive thank you to these three people for coding all the mods for the tournament, because without them, it would really not have been the same. HP Bushmaster, absolutely wrecking him right now. Seven or no, eight HP versus Blue's two is not looking good, guys. Oh gosh. And Bushmaster. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the start, there were still some bugs with those mods, though. <laughs> Following this, Bushmaster also took the second round off of blue, meaning it was now a match point situation. <sighs> ah, I'm yikes! Throwing. Blue! <laughs> blue, uh, if you lose this one, you're going down to the loser's bracket, so you, you really don't want to lose this one. Are you ready, guys? Yep, yeah, think so. Then let's begin. Go! Oh, Bushmaster. Getting right into dirty the like that. <laughs> With a spell right off the bat. You know, from Blue's perspective, he's like probably really discouraged now that he's already lost two matches. But actually, he's doing really good for himself at the moment. Leading with 2 HP right now. And uh, now it's not so clear anymore. Actually, oh man. So much damage being dealt so quickly. Bushmaster's on one. Is Blue actually gonna make a comeback here? Can he make it happen? He doesn't know that he's that low, oh. but he gets him! Alright, that one's a lot better. Blue! How many lives are you on? Makes Four. a comeback! Oh, GG's. Here's another match point for Bushmaster, starting in three, two, one, go! Oh, and Blue actually denies that nail art from Bushmaster. Smart play by him. Obviously a spell has a longer range and is faster than a nail art, always. But it's not looking good for Blue right now. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, he's on free health. Doesn't take damage because he's in his Baldur shell. He's using that to his advantage. But I feel like he's playing a bit too passively. Ah. Okay, it's actually getting closer. It's actually getting closer now. No way! No way! No way! Both on 1 HP! Oh, oh my gosh! One life! One life! Oh, oh my no gosh! Way, really? Hot damn! Oh my god! Oh my Hot god! Hot damn! To but the loser's bracket I go. Unfortunately, that <laughs> means Blue 
You're <laughs> heading to the loser's bracket. I just pray, Otty Wind, please. Come on, dude. <laughs> I can't fight Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, the next match was Oddy versus Hunt Hustle. And for those who are unaware, Hunt Hustle is an absolute PvP monster. And me and Oddy had this joke going on like, hey, what if I put you up against Hunt Hustle? <laughs> and guess what I did next? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I then sent him this image on Discord. And he was not happy about it. <laughs> And with that wholesome message of remind yourself to hydrate, I'm going to remind everyone that you can just unsub from Taco whenever you want, right? That's <laughs> more money and you get to keep it. Uh, thanks for Audi for, for moderating uh, while I was gone. I'm sure uh, he said some really nice things about me. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't actually that mad. We were just joking around. We're actually really good friends. <laughs> but I did put him against that hustle. <laughs> Also, Adi's internet went down during one of the matches, which was really funny. <laughs> Best of luck. Let's start the match in three, two, one, go! We just got Thanos snapped. This is an interesting tactic, I see. <laughs> uh, uh, hello? <laughs> what was that? I got on my platform and he just disappeared. Like, like my character <laughs> went by. <laughs> but yeah, that put Adi in a loser's bracket for now. Next up. We have the match Stizzle versus Cranky Templar. Are you guys excited for your match? I am oh, sure. scared. I am scared. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna slip on a banana peel and fall into Stizzle's uh, nail. Oh, this is probably also a good time to tell you that players were also allowed to ban a map and a charm each. While maps were just, you know, for funs and giggles, banning charms could really change the outcome of a match. So, Stizzle, okay. which charm do you want to ban? Um, I want to ban uh, Nail Master's Glory. Okay. Cranky? I'll ban Spore Shroom. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's a bit unfortunate now. <laughs> Spore Shroom is a really important part of a certain strategy where you try to run away from your opponent to heal and if you get that heal off, a big cloud of spores is created around you that is going to hurt your opponent. And that just happened to be the strategy that Stizzle trained for. Ah! Um, okay, uh... Craig, you've literally just eliminated <laughs> my, my entire strategy. Oh, I know what, I know what Stizzle's strategy build. was, and uh, it's not looking good for Stizzle right now. <laughs> and after that, Stizzle indeed got crushed. <laughs> just look at this first match. Oh, Stizzle not looking so good on his health at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> classic. Oh, what a classic. <laughs> oh shit, that was so fast for me. <laughs> Wait! Oh wait! <laughs> Shit! Fuck! Okay. Stizzle, that was absolutely what was terrible. That? So instead of spore shroom, Stizzle added shape of one for evasion, but he just evaded the platform and died. <laughs> he just transformed um, into a pink circle and ran off the map. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen! I don't think we need to show any more of this match. This just summarizes it perfectly. Next up, we had Sisipi versus Tsira, and Sisipi being a top player, just like Cranky. Let's see if Tsira has more luck than Stizzle. He has uh, chosen well. a different charm for his oh, build. Oh, okay. Now down to only one HP. Can he make it back? Uh, no. Damn. No. Tira with die. the equalizer. There's just one extra health. So Tsira is now on one HP, not on zero. Where are you? <laughs> and oh, now Sisipi takes All it. Right. Tsira Jumping should through. really try to heal while Sisipi is down here. I know. That Did was you? a bad one. Nope. Tira couldn't do it. Next up, we have Mossback versus Anonymous Shade. Uh, you know, guys, this match is basically Lore versus Beams. Who's gonna win, guys? Lore versus Beams? Yes. Okay, actually, actually, Memes versus Beams, you're right. Fight! Both players starting out with 13 HP, which is the maximum that you can have with any sort of charm build. Mossback! Just absolutely crushing it with 10 HP as opposed to Shade's 5. Now Shade is making a little bit of a comeback. This could be really darn close. 
This is really darn close. Mossback really liking that Cyclone Slash. Both players with the Dash Slash. I believe only Mossback's connected though, which gives him a huge advantage. Oh, but now Shade! Oh, and Mossback with the spell! Oh, both at one HP! Next hit is gonna be uh, it! And oh. Shade takes oh. it! That was intense. And that was only the first map. Both players going down to 4 HP. Oh my gosh, this is another really close one. What, what just happened there? I don't know, but both players now down to 2 HP. One more. Great slash, dash, dash slash. Could be it. Shade wasting it. Not knowing the timing oh. and actually oh. Shade taking two HP. the second fight with 2 HP. Match point for Shade here. Can Mossbag make a comeback? Ladies and gentlemen, let's start this fight. Oh, I'm taking damage. That's not good. This is my native homeland. Let's see. Uh, we're good though. It's mine too, old we're all man. good. <laughs> Both of them are really evenly matched. I wouldn't be surprised if this one is taken to a tiebreaker. I would love this to go to a tiebreaker, man. Oh! Mossback, with the right idea. I saw him charging up that... Or initiating the descending dark. But not quite getting it. Now, oh, it's so close again. 2 HP to 4 HP. Mossback at a big disadvantage. A big advantage, actually. Shade at 1 HP. Mossback knows it! And Mossback! Takes it back! That to the one. This is stressful. <laughs> it is. Lore makes a comeback, boys. Let's see here. Sly? Sly it is. This is it here. Second match point for Shade. Go! Not a lot of damage being dealt right here. Actually, Mossback with a slight 1 HP lead right now. 1 HP is all you need. But now Mossback going real down really fast. Only 5 HP now compared to Shade's 9. What will he do about that? Oh, firing off a Shade Soul. Mossback doesn't know that he's at a heavy disadvantage here. Oh, this is really bad. This is not looking good for Mossback at all. This could be it. If he doesn't come up with something fancy here. Let's see. One more Dash Slash or Great Slash is all it takes to eliminate him from the winner's bracket. And now a single nail hit will do the trick. Five to one HP. There's no way. There's no way. And yes. Shoot. Shade takes it with the three, two, one. Before we continue with the next match, I wanna quickly mention that unfortunately Mafulu had to forfeit all his matches since he's had some back issues which prevented him from playing. We talked to each other and we were like, yeah, it's it's not worth sacrificing your health for, for a tournament. And uh, I know that he was looking forward to the tournament a lot, so... Can we get some love for Mafulu in the chat? He's gonna be he's gonna be okay. It's it's just really unfortunate, but how can you be sad with all this positivity around you? Now I want you guys to also show some love for Mafulu in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, now let's continue with the regular program. Next up, we got X to You versus Scurry. Two absolute Hollow Knight legends, you could say, who've both held several speedrunning world records in the game at some point. And considering this, I was very surprised that the match was quite one-sided. Scurry absolutely crushed all three maps and sent Axe to the loser's bracket faster than you can say the word spike. Greatly! And Scurry! Scurry! Dashing into the spikes! <laughs> okay, Scurry lost one map to the spikes, but apart from that, it was an overwhelming victory. The last match in round one was CC Makai versus Atriarch. An absolute icon of the industry. Which industry, you might ask? It's not the Hollow Knight industry. But he did manage to confuse the heck out of CC. I'd like to ban the wayward compass, Saga. <laughs> are you serious? Well, listen. <laughs> rules are rules. I'd like to ban the wayward compass. Oh, okay. <laughs> what an absolute mad lad. <laughs> CC, it is your pick for the first map. Uh, let's go 
No eyes, Absrad. Or it's not no eyes, Absrad. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a very interesting. Sorry, interesting combination. Someone in, chat, someone in my chat said compass better than Absrad, and, uh, and I was just that was that was on my mind. So uh, yeah, comp compass uh, ascended. Or not. <laughs> wow. Cece just going in hard tonight, I can, man. I can I can teach you some all that now. <laughs> I'm a Hall Knight War YouTuber. Why do I, why do I not know these names? <laughs> and although Big A was playing a strong mind game, he kind of fumbled the bag a little bit. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's not so oh! Oh, fuck! Three. What are you talking And. Oh, oh. Go! Matriarch doesn't seem too sure of what to do, but he is holding his ground. Now taking a great oh. slash. Match point for CC Makai. Oh. We'll see Atrioc again in the loser's bracket. Now that we've gotten to know the players a little bit more, I'd say it's time we eliminate some of them. As we, we head into the loser's bracket. That means we're starting off with Blue versus Adi. I will so. ban uh, Thorns of Agony. This is actually how I, how I note the bands down. Uh, I'm gonna be quirky because I'm gonna lose this anyway. Get rid of Hive Blood. Hive kind of blood. broken. I mean, you could try to win. There's a thousand dollars on the line, Audi. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, and somebody set me up to fail. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> no, just, I don't. I don't know what you're talking know. about. Easy. All right. Anyways, let's get started. I just want to remind everybody that we are now in the losers bracket, which means the person who uh. loses this match. We'll okay, be ready? out of the tournament Three. entirely. It's you die in Hollow Knight, you die in real life. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, go! Oh, Blue with a really cheeky hit to start it off there. Audi's not gonna like that. Not using Shaman Stone. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh! Audi getting oh absolutely yeah, wrecked right now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This is not looking yeah, good. That was fucking stump. I took one Audi, hit. what happened? Yeah. You know when you get hit and your brain turns off until you get breathing room, but you don't get breathing room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> same map? Okay, wait. Same I map? So now you I can't pick the same map twice. Again. Oh, no? Okay, nope. then. Okay, then. Broken vessel. <laughs> you got okay, you can't pick <laughs> the same statue twice. No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Making up rules as no, we go. <laughs> Alright, you can do broken vessel. Yes. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if they're both fine with it, what? I want to be left side. Right. No, I get left side this. Right. Oh, sorry. Hi. I'm so sorry. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. Blue currently ahead with one point, and it's only best of five. So the first person with three matches one wins the entire thing. It is quite tense. I, I sort of want Audi to get at least one point. He didn't get a point in his uh, first round. I don't want him to go out without anything from here. He is on two HP. Blue is on four. Oh, that's really unfortunate that I heard the sound, but it did not oh, connect. Yeah. Whoa, that was a big hitbox. Oof. Taco, Being can done. I do lost skin again? <laughs> No, we're not doing Let Lost Kin again. No, you're please, not doing Lost Kin no. again. I mean, this is a really blue map, so this is this is not good for Audi. I'm out first, <laughs> boys. You Best of this. luck to both of you. Oh god, man. And let's start. Three, two, one, go. I'm having a hard time seeing who's me on this map. Because I'm using a really bright skin. Oh man. Oh gosh. Audi down to six HP. A blue still at 11. It's not looking good for Audi. Ow. Oh gosh, oh no. One more hit, and Audi is out of the tournament. What? Uh, one more hit, and Audi is out of the tournament. <laughs> Stretching. Ah, oh, the limit. We'll play both uh, of you. GG's. Feels but bad, but it was rigged anyway, so it's it, man. Audi, unfortunately, <laughs> you're out. I wanted to play against Stizzle. You put me against Audi. two speedruns. Audi. 
Be quick, plug all of your things as fast right, as Audi you can. Right, Audie Me5 on YouTube right now, right now. Yeah, Taco's sub, in the video, guys. Sub to Audi right now <laughs> to revolt against the taco rage. <laughs> Audi, thanks, thank you so much for playing, though. Thank you. For it was a lot of fun having you. I really and, uh, appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, and well done setting all this up. Sadly, that meant Audi was the first to go. Following this tragic match, we had Stizzle versus Tsira fighting to the death. Uh, Tsira, pick your first yes. charm to ban. My first charm to ban. Stizzle did a good job, and I don't know what he uses in his build. I'll ban Spore Shroom. Oh, mm -hmm, I've, okay. I've completely reworked my game plan, which means I just hope she doesn't ban the charms I'm relying on. Yeah. Okay, so... then just ban a random charm. Yeah. Just spend Wayward Compass. Mm. Atriarch did mm. that, and Atriarch was too powerful to be left alive, so we put him in the loser's bracket <laughs> immediately. Yeah. I'm gonna go with it and ban Baldur Shadow. Okay. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Zero okay, being merciful. Um, uh, can we get some love for some Zero? Some mercy in the chest. No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 it's alright. It's all good. Okay. Baldur no, you're right. No, I said it already. I'm gonna ban Shaman Stone. Tiro made the fatal mistake of not banning Spore Shroom against Stizzle, which now gives him a fighting chance. Let's see if he makes good use of it. Stizzle, Stizzle cheerleader. cheerleader. Woo, who's this? Who's my cheerleader? I'm your cheerleader. Woo, you're gonna, let's you go. can do this, Tiro. I believe <laughs> in you. Yes, well. you I can really do it. I really appreciate the motivation. Go. Oh, Tiro going for the cheeky fireball. Not working out for him, though. Oh, and there it is. Oh, oh and there it is. Him. Stizzle. Not following Tira's footsteps, taking a dive into the abyss. Oh, oh Stizzle freak. with the spore shroom. There it is. The absolute madman. With his favorite charm. Finally, we get to see it. Very exciting oh, stuff. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> leg is. Oh! It. Is it going to work out for, for Stizzle in the end, though? Uh, this healing game. Ooh, Tsira also playing it really strong. You you have to remember that Stizzle has healed a lot and a lot of damage during this fight already. Ooh, okay. Tsira has to stay on Stizzle. He knows that. Yes, it does look like in the long run, Sportroom is either? working out. Whoa! How did that not hit? Dang oh, it. actually, that one GG. did. Wow, <sighs> with the spore shroom. Go. Go. And the Stizzle cheerleader still <laughs> following us. <laughs> still vibing, okay. Three, two, one, go. Very, very good map for Stizzle, actually. Very solid pick. Oof. Okay, both players taking a hit there. Tira going for it now. Tira with a health advantage, actually. Stizzle, again, healing two, losing one. This is a winning game for him. Okay. Stizzle now ahead with 6 HP. Uh, oh, that was 4 easy. HP as opposed to 4. Now it's even. And again, Stizzle with 6 HP, Zero with 4. Now Zero with 3, Stizzle with 4, Zero with 1. <laughs> we were just doing a thing there. <laughs> a little dance. Stizzle with 3. Mm -hmm. If Stizzle would just fire a spell over, then he would win the round. Oh, it's no! Zero! Oh. Zira, oh, staring into the abyss. Oh man! And Sportstrom is really <laughs> saving my ass, though. So I did take heals there, and I wouldn't have had that issue if I hadn't dunked into the spikes that were at one yes. health. Um, uh, so it's Zira's pick next. Um, so what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I gotta Stop calm it. people down. Thanks, Zira. Sorry. Vibe. All right, everybody calm down. It's okay. We want no more violence. Zira. It's all good. Panic. Panic. We're sorry. <laughs> you may start in three, two, one, go. This is actually a match point right here, right? So if Zira loses this one, Zira is out. I'd hate to see him go without even a single win. Ooh, Stizzle! How did that not hit you? Dashing! 
That was a shake cloak right there. Oh, okay. Oh. Dashing through the spell! Massive! Massive plays! Oh, and Sizzle healing free another massive play! This could change the outcome of this match right here. Sizzle was on 2, Tira was on 4 or 5. Now Sizzle is at 4, Tira is at 4, Tira is at 2, Sizzle is at 2, Tira is at 1! Sizzle is healing! And Stizzle GG. GG. wins! Right. Well played, you guys. Okay. Okay. Was it fun to play, though? Sounds good. It was a lot of fun, yes. It's different than other stuff that I've done. Am I the first one eliminated? No, Audi was first. Oh. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, from, from the reception that we're getting so far, I feel like we might do a second Taco Cup. Let's oh, heck yeah, to, that'd be fun. Um, try to get some of that money back. <laughs> now streaming um, from under my bridge because I lost right. <laughs> Two things. Number one, we might actually do a second taco cup since everybody just loved this first one. So if you want to see that happen, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number two, I am now opening up a Patreon so I don't have to stream the next tournament from under a bridge. So I'd really appreciate if you check that out. Link is in the description, but more on that later. We also have a third, arguably even bigger announcement to make during this video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for having me. This was a ton of fun. I hope to be able to participate in the next Taco Cup. And yeah, bye everyone. Let's do it. Moss Ooh, bag okay. versus X to you. Hello. Welcome X. Hi. Yeah, I can see the similarity. Yeah. You're stalling because you know I'm going to beat you, Taco. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, you're not even up against me. <laughs> That's the crazy the thing. If we defeat Taco, <laughs> we don't have to <laughs> fight any more matches. <laughs> we, we can just we'll... take the prize pool, split it between us, and yeah. then into the darkness. I hate that things have turned GG. out this way. Mossback makes the heads roll and starts Wait. banning charms. No Grus mother. No Grus. Wait, that's not a charm, though. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm screwed. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? X is actually wrecking Mossbag right now a little bit. Oh, no. X. Oh, I see what's happening here now. X has. Oh, gosh. X has Mushroom. That is a bit of a bummer. That is going to be a bit of a problem for Mossbag, potentially. X at only free now though. Ah. <laughs> X takes the first round with four ah. HP. X, your charm combination seems to have worked pretty well. Uh, yeah, was... it's, it's pretty gimmicky, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it surprisingly works well. X, it's your pick next. Uh, I'm choosing Ascended Vengeful King. Right. No, you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to give hints to people, but I can't. Um, just just play good. Just figure out the strategy of the other person and try to counter it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, let's start in three, two, one, go. So what Mossback actually has to do is just stay on the ground. And exactly that, exactly that. Just counter all of the heals that Axe tries to do. Perfect, perfect situation. Just staying on Axe. Wow, this is actually going a lot better for Mossback than I expected. Okay, now he's he's starting to fall a bit behind. Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. It does matter now. It does matter now. Now it's a bit of a problem for Mossback. Mossback now at 2 HP. Axe at 3. Let's see. Down dash. Get out of here. No. Ah. And Axe takes it again with 3 HP. That was maybe the fastest round in the tournament. So uh, there's an award for both of you. What is it? Yay. It's the Fast Finisher Award. Congrats. I don't, I don't know if I want that. I don't want that. <laughs> Bro. I just want to say, oh, reiterate, that this is potentially your final match, Mossbag. If you lose this one, you're out. Marmu. Okay, Marmu it is. You, you just said Marmu. Oh. You kept saying Marmu. I said... Marmu. I met Umu. <laughs> All right, then. Fair enough. You misheard me. Oh, yeah, of course. I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mossbag loves to see the world burn. <laughs> All right. 
Let's wait. For Why would X I want to go to Marmo? <laughs> I was asking myself the same thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, match point for X. Go. Oh, he's Flukeness banned. Basically, it's Jank <laughs> in multiplayer. <laughs> X taking a deep dive. Actually, that might not have been a, the best. Oh, frames, though. The best map to pick for Moss back because on this big map, there's a lot of opportunity for X to heal. Except if X keeps dashing into the ground. Oh, Mossbag. You need to heal, my guy. He's not letting loose. Oh, Mossbag. Actually, we have his first heal this entire round. Now he's popping off somehow. Very tense. Mossbag. Falling. X not getting that hit, but there it is. Mossbag is out of the tournament. Well played. Good game. Good game. Hey, Mossbag, my guy. You know I love you, but since you didn't win, we might just have to sacrifice you. All right, now let's take a look at the current standings. Unfortunately, Audi, Tsira, Mossbag, but also Mufulu are out. Since Mufulu forfeited all his matches, that means that now Fireborn goes on to the next round automatically and Atriarch automatically goes on to the second round of losers where he will meet the loser of Bushmaster versus Hunt Hustle, which is the match that's coming up next. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've now reached round two of the winner's bracket, meaning all matches from now will be best of seven or first to four wins moving forward. <laughs> See him, there he is. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pick Vengefly King. Ooh, interesting one. Then let's begin in three, two, one, go! Interestingly enough, Hunt is not going for a healing build at all. I suspected he would, considering he banned um, Shaman Stone, which is a spell charm. And uh, oh, no I thought way. he would probably not no use way. spells. <laughs> oh god. Bushmas is not happy about his current situation. And only one HP versus Hunt's ah, nine. This is for banning no eyes. Nah, 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 uh -oh. nah, Markov Markov descended. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys are ready, go. Markov obviously being a pretty big arena. Rounds tend to sometimes be longer. They also tend to sometimes be really short because people fall off the map sometimes. Like Bushmaster just demonstrated there. And Hunt right. takes it. Go. Actually, Bushmaster with a huge health advantage this time around. Now it's not looking so good for Bushmaster anymore. Hunt has caught up and is now actually 3 HP ahead, while Bushmaster is at a mere 1. Oh, that was a smart spell. Ah, but unfortunately Bushmaster falls into the descending dark. Go! This time around, Bushmaster again with a slight advantage here at the start. It's only 1 HP, but 1 HP can go such long distances at the end of a round. Now it's back ah. to equal. Ah. Okay. Actually, okay. not quite equal anymore. Somehow Hunt just keeping at those 9 HP. 10 HP actually. I'm out. GG, Hunt. Be prepared to face me in the final. I want my revenge. I will start my training montage. While Hunt is filming his training montage, let's check in on the next match, Sissipi versus Cranky. Now Sissipi, down 1 HP. Oh, Sissipi in the right moment activating the Baldursha, blocking 2 damage, which would have been his downfall right then and there. Now he's still down a bit of damage, but Cranky with 2, Sissipi with 1, now Cranky only one, both players on one! Fuck. And Cranky! <laughs> GG, I was at one. Cranky takes yeah. it with one HP. Well played, Sissipi. <laughs> yeah, well played, GG, man. You, uh, you had <sighs> me on the ropes, I was like really worried the entire time. Man, <laughs> it's the one-notch charms that make or break it. And it's it's Cranky banning Sporsh Room or not that makes or breaks the fights. It's crazy. Sissipi being unable to use a specific charm and Cranky choosing a slightly more optimal health charm were all the advantage Cranky needed to convert the match. However, after this one, something unexpected happened. Paco, you're getting raided. Oh, wait, what? Wait, oh, yeah, uh, raid of 1,500 people. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Um, <laughs> oh, shit. 
Oh god, the, watch <laughs> the users watching is just skyrocketed. After Atriok raided us, we shortly peaked over 2,000 viewers, which meant the pressure was on, both for me and especially the players. But despite that, this next match would go above and beyond everything that came before it. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is Anonymous Shade versus Scurry. When you are ready, go! Both players pretty even so far. Shade actually taking a bit of a lead there. But Scurry equalizing it out. Now what you're about to see looks like a meme, but it's actually exactly how it came out in the raw footage. And uh, now we have Scurry. <laughs> is that- oh, right. is it my internet that's messing up? Uh oh. Hold I on, hold on yours. just a sec. People are spamming lag. Stream was dead. That's not good. Who won? Oh. Um, actually, the universe collapsed and uh, the tournament ended. And I won. Uh, no, in <laughs> all seriousness, uh, Scurry took it with yeah. uh, free HP, I believe. What the hell? What's up? Uh, never mind. Never mind. It's just what the. It's just what's going on in the lobby. No worries. People on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! I knew you were gonna try that. <laughs> I gotta drink something now. Make sure to stay hydrated, everybody. It's very important for your body to drink enough water. Shade now at 2 HP. This is gonna. This is not looking good for her. Mmm. Rip. <laughs> What's X2? Ascended Gross Mother. <laughs> what is that? Is it ascended? Uh, it's ascended, yeah. yes. Okay. Go. Oh, with just the right tune in the background. Really close one. Shade could take this. No. <laughs> oh, and Shade actually gets it this time. Ooh. That Two map to is one my now. Worst map. I need to start banning that. <laughs> Shade coming back from the down phase, from the zero confidence. Now back to a win in the pocket. How do you feel? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big arena right here. Let's start in three, Huge. two, one. Go! Obviously, with a lot of space comes a lot of no damage. <laughs> Just a very long map to play, I suppose. A lot of free ground, not a lot of platforms to play with. I don't like these sorts of maps. I much prefer something like uh, a No Eyes, No Eyes Ascended, like a Markov or Markov Ascended. That, those are like my favorite maps. This one is also alright for a change. Shade now down to 1 HP. Oh, and getting Scurry down to 2. Scurry now might be panicking. Thinking that he is... That they are at a disadvantage. Oh! oh. And Shade! Shade makes the comeback! With oh 1 God. HP! 1 HP? Oh, I should've just been spamming fire. What is this? Damn. Oh my God! I didn't think I got that much hits in. This is, uh... GG, though. This is amazing. This could be GG. the first one that gets to a tiebreaker. So, uh... Please get a to a tiebreaker. Oh, wait, no. Well, let's just do Hive Man, Hive Knight. You like jazz? Hive Fella. You like jazz? I suppose so. There's such weird players connecting to the server right now. Australia is expensive. One egg equals 50 cents. Uh... <laughs> when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Scurry somehow dodging that one, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> both players down to 4 HP, they're just... Both at the, going down at the same pace. 
Same exact damage for both players. Now Shade actually in a bit of a pickle. Uh, in a bit of a pickle, Rick, you could say. Actually, no, that's Bushmaster that has, <laughs> has that skin. Oh, and Scurry! Oh. <laughs> Scurry with the 4 HP win. Close one. <laughs> Someone named himself Unfollow Taco. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> People are about to get banned. Guys, Unfollow Taco. No! Guys, we gotta stop this Unfollow Taco movement. My channel is literally fucking dying right now. So please, go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Okay, uh, advertisement is over. Now, Scurry, what's your next pick? We're gonna do Vengefly Kings. Vengefly Kings. All right, then if you're ready, go. Scurry, down to nine HP. Could this actually be the first tiebreaker? I'd be so excited, man. It's looking like it. It is looking like it. Scurry down to 6 HP. Shade at yep. 8. Ooh, that was real close. The iframe's barely carrying Shade out of that one. Oh, su suddenly Shade is down to 5 and Scurry's down to 4. Shade now also down to 4. Is Scurry going to know? Oh, to wait a second. The they do. But now both players down to 3 HP. Scurry, will he, will he fall down? No. no. I have but to go. Shade. Equalizes to the first tiebreaker oh in the tournament. For each tiebreaker, chat got to vote on which map they wanted it to take place on. And naturally, they had a tendency to choose the most janked map available. What are these, <laughs> these choices? Oh my god. It's looking like it's gonna be Marmu ascended. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the first tiebreaker of the tournament commences. Let's go in three, two, one, go! This is the tiebreaker in the second round of Scurry versus Anonymous Shade. And Scurry taking a hit by the Forens. Scurry actually at a huge health deficit somehow. Oh my gosh. Scurry now down to three HP. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to get back from that. Can they come back? We shall see. Oh god! One more! Oh god. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm, I'm so nervous and I'm not even playing. Holy crap. This one is gonna decide it. Oh my god! Oh, that was so cool. Oh my god! That was so cool. I was behind. What a I was definitely comeback! Behind a while. <sighs> so, uh, wow. GG's really good Congrats, match. both of you. That was a super solid match. So this match was a true thriller. And, uh... Wait. Why do I hear boss music? Fireball, the sleeping giant who somewhat considered to be one of the absolute best Hollow Knight players, finally awakens. He didn't play in round one because it was matched up against Mufulu. But now, let's see what he's capable of. I don't want to tell my build be, right away, okay. but I got some okay. sick builds, trust me. You'll see them soon enough. <laughs> so, are you both ready to fight? Yep. Yes. Yes. And let us begin... Fight! CC in his first match, pretty strong, did pretty strong against Atrioch. I know that CC has practiced together with uh, Hunt Hustle and uh, massively improved because of it. And uh, Fireborn himself, right, the god gamer, with his uh, Manhunt series, having a lot okay. of practice oh, in this sort died. of field. Oh, CC's connection is looking a bit wacky. Ooh! <sighs> and okay. there is the first one. Go! Fireborn is here to crush absolutely everybody. I don't I don't think he's uh, compromising on anything tonight. That strategy certainly seems to be working out for him as he absolutely crushes CC right now with 10 HP to free. Is that is that a bug in in the interface or is it actually just Okay. GG. <laughs> All right, second round also going to Fireborn. Match point for Fireborn. Go! 
obviously the pressure right now is on CC as he is a bit behind on points. He's doing pretty decent so far. What is happening right now? This <laughs> it just looks like uh, he has invincibility on. Obviously he doesn't. But it is looking like CC could take this one. One more hit is gonna do it, and there it is. Oh my god, my heart rate's 145. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being an absolute top contender, Fireborn was very nervous during his match. Would that stop him from winning the match though? Second match point for Fireborn starts in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, a lot of damage. A lot of punches being thrown in a very short period of time there. And uh, Fireborn coming out ahead a little bit, but now CC catching back. Ah, both players now at 5 HP. It's getting pretty gosh darn close. And CC now at only 2 HP. Can he make a comeback happen here? Is the question. It is looking dire. GG. Ah, GG. And there it is. <sighs> Fire takes this one and yep, moves up around while well, CC goes to the loser's bracket, where you'll be fighting Blue, which is actually the, the next match that's coming up. And Fireborn, you're going up against Scurry next. So, oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a spicy one as well. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going right into the next match. Yeah, okay. you're going right into the next one. <laughs> let's let's oh, win this boy, one. All right, hey, Blue, what's up? Hello there. Game and agony. So everybody just disbands them. With good reason. I should have banned oh it God, against fire. I... That could have been, that could have been better if I if I had just banned that against fire. But I, that was a dumb pick for Dash Master. But we'll 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 make we'll make it up. We'll make it up. Let's see if you can uh, make it up against Blue. Uh, of course, Blue is gonna try to stop you though. Mm -hmm. So best of luck to both of you. Let's begin. Go. And off they go. Blue now down to two. This could be. Oh. Blue blocking the damage that would have killed him with the Baldur Shell. And now both players at two. Sorry, Blue actually healed and is now up to three. Now back down to one. This is anybody's game. Both players can absolutely take this one. Blue is going to try to heal. CC is not doing anything about it. He doesn't need to though. Actually he does because there is a HP bug. And Blue still has one HP left. Whoa! That's high. And actually... This one is going to be a tie. Wow. <laughs> God damn. That was really close. <laughs> this round was the perfect precursor for the rest of the match. Because what happened after was Blue won the rematch. Then CC immediately took it back one to one. Then CC went on to win the next two rounds. And Blue was caught in a match point situation. Which he confidently clutched up back to back which brought the score back to 3-3, three to three, giving us the second tiebreaker of the tournament. And here it is, this is the last map for Blue versus CC. Man, CC's going ahead with uh, a good bit of health. Ooh, whoa, did both players get hit there? He's, uh, he's at a mere 4 HP, now 2. Oh no, and the shell broke. Can Blue make the dream come true? Let's find out in just a second. Oh my no! God, the broken. <laughs> no! Go. Blue tries to heal without the shell. That was, that was really good. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you're out. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you very much for being a part of this tournament. Yeah, that was really exciting. I um, I'm glad I got to be part of this. Sadly, Blue didn't make it. We'll see you in the next one, Sonny. Oh, okay. Uh, so oh, we're gonna have I'm to going up against Shade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm banning... Oh, what am I banning? I'm gonna ban Shaman Stone. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm ban... <laughs> Uh, I'm banning Sporsure, my hate no! it so much. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. um, How could you? Yeah, you I mean... You can still change your mind. You know, mm -hmm. deal or no deal. 
It's not you too know, late to change your mind now, is it? Uh, you, know you, you know what? Fine. Thorns of Agony. No, no, oh, no, you, no, no, no. Really? Oh. I'm, do, do you really want to change? Joke. That was sort of more of a joke. What is with all these Thorns memes? Of agony, <laughs> Thorns of Agony, final answer. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, um... Thorns, uh -oh. you get to pick the first map. Which one's it gonna be? Uvu Ascended. Woo! I'm really excited. First match of the oh. day. Okay, hold up. I Don't just fell off the platform. Okay, yeah. <laughs> then let the match begin. In three, two, one, go! Now both players not having the best time of their lives. Oh, and now Stizzle actually using the sport room. I think Shade is going to regret the decision of not banning Sposh from me. I should have stuck with it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ah, Jesus! Okay. Yes, you definitely should have. This is dumb. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying yeah. myself a lot. She does not stinky. have a great time right now. <laughs> I got the sneaky tactics. <laughs> oh Jesus! But you've got the you've got the skill <laughs> on your side. Shade should be thinking about healing now, and Sizzle again keeps healing. And now takes no! the first Oh, round. okay. Oh. Well played. <laughs> well played. Damn those mushrooms. Damn the mushrooms, the magic mushrooms. We're doing sisters in battle, come on. Alright, let's do it. Go. Shay did pretty well with picking this arena because this arena is actually a lot smaller with less space to heal in. There's a lot of... A lot of dash slashes. This one hit, unfortunately, for Shade. The Baldur shell was still intact at that point. That one also actually not dealing damage. But the Baldur shell, you have to remember, only can ever take four hits. So that means one more hit to the Baldur shell, and now it is broken. Um, unfortunately for Shade, she's almost dead. One more hit is uh, going to do it. Now with only one health remaining, actually she makes a solid attempt. Bringing Sizzle down another 2 HP, but okay. not quite enough. Okay. This uh, one was closer though. Fight! Ooh, Shade coming in hot with that dash slash, almost connecting at the very start of the fight. And actually, she does hit the first attack. That does look like she's going to have a huge lead for the moment with 3 HP plus. Actually now, five, which is massive. Yeah, I don't think he realizes now how much HP Shade oh, is Jesus. on. And Sizzle now at three HP, which, uh, this is not looking good for him. I don't think he's going to take this one home, unless he plays this one extremely safe and extremely well. Now that I've said that though, Commentator's Curse, it is starting to look a bit more in favor of Stizzle. Because obviously, Shade is not healing at all, which gives her a big disadvantage. But on the other hand, Stizzle is now at 1 oh, HP, which is not a lot. So one mere dash slash is going to take it. She doesn't know though. She doesn't know he's that low. Will she be able to get one more hit off before Stizzle can finish her? With one more dash or great slash! We, we both died! Okay. Whoa, okay. Wow. It's a rematch. Okay. It's a rematch. Damn, that's awesome. Man. Man. Shade, you went so that's... far ahead. You were on like 8 HP when Sizzle was at 2. Okay, okay good enough. Wait, let's do this. Go. <laughs> Sizzle immediately panicking. Firing off a spell into midair. But nonetheless, Shade is about three health down at the moment now it's more like four more like five which is obviously not that great actually this is looking a bit less certain now than it used to with both players now at three hp and this time is it going to be a reverse sweep here after sizzle oh okay after sizzle makes a comeback is shade going to now make a comeback with a mere one hp no, oh, she isn't! Oh, no, we didn't. Damn. Okay. Oh, oh I was on one health! If I'm correct, we're not allowed to change our charm sets, right? 
You can change your charm set anytime. All right, then I want. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Okay. okay. Shades seems serious now. He's not talking anymore. Okay. I've never heard Shade not talk. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Ah! And we're starting already with the match point in three, two, one, go! Oh, both players hitting each other with a dash slash, both of them connecting. Now Shade at a very slight disadvantage. Shade, I think, losing her controller for a second there. Oh, no, shit! You're using How you dare I use my own spells against me? Shade has adapted, but now she's down a health, which uh, could cost her. But in fact, it does it doesn't. <laughs> Not at the okay. moment. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a very interesting one. I've never seen a match with two people having sports to equip. This is going to be a good one. Oh no, oh no. Shade just barely missing. I have no idea. Shade, you went over the hitbox. Just to clarify. Oh man, I did. It's not looking good for her right now. She's only sitting at 4 HP now. Jesus. Stizzle taking not, a hit. doesn't feel good, does it? Ooh. Ooh, and Shade cancelling out. Doesn't. And now, dealing two damage, both on equal HP now. It's anybody's game at this point. Ooh, okay. Oh, and Shade! Cancelling another heal from Stizzle. Both players hitting each other, getting down to 3 HP. Now Shade is healing, Stizzle is healing, Shade is healing twice, and both are back to 5. Ladies and gentlemen, what a tense match! Shade getting another double hit off. Could this be the comeback for her? Oh, Indeed, Jesus. it is looking like it. Shade now with 2 HP advantage. Still with a 2 HP advantage, Stizzle is and 1 health. On oh, 1 health still, there's the glitch again with the UI. Makes it more tense, anyhow. Oh, how did that not connect? Shade, just barely missing. Now oh, Shade needs to heal, I'm so... No, oh god, there's the bug again! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so... I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm... This is, this is too much. Shade, please heal. I'm so, I'm so scared for you. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Man, one one hit from any of those guys is going to do it. One double hit, a singular one, is going to make the difference. Oh fuck. <sighs> Why am I not hitting you? <laughs> I believe both Shade and Sizzle are now at three HP, considering the uh, HP bug. It could be that Shade is only at two. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, Shade is still alive. That shade is still alive, and Sizzle is now uh, aggressive. Ooh, the Baldur shell broke. Oh, it Stizzle oh. takes okay. it. Stizzle Chichi. takes it. Chichi. Just Stizzle barely. Barely, what I was a close like... match. Ooh. Woo. Woo. That was GG, man. Well played, you guys. This was not bad. You know what? I want a rematch. Right you now, a right rematch? here, right now. Yes. Stizzle, do you accept the rematch? Just forfeit all your points and rematch? Forfeit all my points? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> oh my so, god. So, um, Sizzle. I'm really disappointed, man. Yeah. I was hoping to climb to the top. I'm going to be honest. I'm sad. Sizzle, do you have a public service announcement to make? I do have a public service announcement because it turns out that I, Sizzle, do not have time on the 7th. Wait, So what? before starting this, it, it wasn't planned. So before starting this round, me and Taco um, decided that whether I win or I lose, um, you go on instead of me. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise! Really? You get Surprise! <laughs> You get another life. I'm, I'm your one-up. I just stole my vis wisdom about the sports room and the quick focus upon you, so you may bring us fame and glory. Dude, I I don't like lying, but I'm actually kidding. Oh my god! What? I don't know why. <laughs> and I don't know if I just care enough about being in the tournament. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cute! Thank you! <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm getting so emotional, I don't know what's wrong with me. That's all it's fine, okay, it's all good. It's okay. 
my god. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess we're happy that the surprise worked. <laughs> worked out, yeah. <laughs> happy that you're happy. <laughs> wow. Okay. And now go on to win yeah. the tournament and make Stizzle proud. It's gonna yes, make for a good make story. Make me proud. I'm like uh, shaking. What's going on? <laughs> Coach Stizzle. <laughs> these stories like these only at Taco Cup 2021. <laughs> That's right. I feel like fucking Master Ugwe just <laughs> My time turning has come. into <laughs> rose petals and flying into me. <laughs> there are no accidents. <laughs> oh, Alright, I'm, I'm good now. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Uh. <laughs> wow. So you want to train really well, hard now that you're actually going to win the yes, tournament? Yes, I do. Fight me. Fight me now. I want, I want, I want more training. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. After this, I went on to train with Shade so that she had a shot at the cup. But enough of all this wholesomeness. We have a tournament to the death to fight here. So now let's continue with the next match. That being Sisipi versus Axe. Go! Also move giving me the high ground. Let's just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence right there, but we love those uh, here in the gaming community, don't we? I got this, I got this. Everybody really out here cheering X on. Everybody wants the X. Oh my god, I'm just now understanding the joke with the X and all. <laughs> How did I not get that reference earlier? That was but, a good one. Uh, shame on me for that. Sispy still with one more health. Now two more health. Thanks for a double jump almost in luck there. Ooh, okay. Oh, Axe now oh. at 2 HP. It's really not looking good yeah, for him right now. There. If he falls down... Uh, one more health! One more health! Yay! <laughs> Surprise health! Oh, good oh and there he goes. <laughs> How much HP? Uh, five? Yeah, five. five. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a good match with you guys. This. This is looking really promising. We're like we're like equal skill level. Yeah, yeah I, I feel, feel the same. <laughs> Woohoo! Go! Unfortunately, the rest of the match was not that balanced. As Sisipi took round after round after round and sent Axe home. The last match in round two of the losers bracket was Atrioc versus Bushmaster. Hey, nice. Yo! Yo, Atrioc! What's up? Man, your your favorite guy, Blue, unfortunately, is now out of the I know. tournament. But was close. Yeah, saved his honor there. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Alright. That means CC took out both me and my teacher. Man, the CC is just team. killing it today. But first up, uh, you get to ban a charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ban Wayward Compass. <laughs> oh no, not again! I'm <laughs> <laughs> gathering Swarm. No, why? <laughs> why, Bushmaster? <laughs> yeah, I think I might go with Gathering Swarm, you know? It's a, it's a killer shot. Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Okay, Matriarch <laughs> immediately taking a hit of damage. Uh -huh. Hey! Uh huh. Hey. Uh huh. Unfortunately, though, I cannot oh, tell no. what is this? <laughs> whether they are actually playing by the rules. I can't say if oh they God. actually just, oh, have Wayward Compass, <laughs> Compass equipped or Gathering Swarm. Both of those just don't show up on my oh, screen. Fuck. They do nothing. Yo, it's mm -hmm. pretty close, uh -huh. though. Uh huh. It is quite okay. close. Not okay. anymore. Bushmaster oh, doing a lot a of damage here. Oh. Time to clutch! One more! Oh! And Bushmaster takes it. Yeah, what was yeah? What was yeah? What was yeah? Only four HP. So you were doing pretty fine, I would say. <laughs> pretty fine. Okay. I mean. Um. So there's these two charms. They're called Baldur Shell and Spore Shroom, and Why both of them are not banned. <laughs> Just saying. Why would you, you know, say this? Because Atriarch never showed up to the practice. He was like, uh, "Yeah, let's practice," and then he was like, "Oh no, actually no, maybe not." I don't need practice. <laughs> and by the way, my strategy is gonna work. I'm thinking Elder Who. Oh! oh! 
Oh, you God. You can sign your own death warrant. Elder is my best match. For context, Elder who is with Atrox banned in the first match. Okay. Oh, no. I, I may have made a fatal mistake here. You did. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I hate to tell you, this is over. I've never <laughs> lost Elder Who in my life. Go! 1 0 for Bushmaster currently. Hey. This one is actually Why looking a lot closer. I'm not this time around, Atrog is up in health <laughs> now. Not anymore. <laughs> you hate to see it. Freaking Forms of Agony destroying everyone. Ooh. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck you. Oh god. Oh no. It's not looking good for HR oh, and this one. Ah, that's gonna it. do it. Oh my god. Go. Let's see. Who's gonna hit first? And it's Atriarch. <laughs> In the chain of Forens, man. Now Atriarch equalizing to 9 HP each. Actually, Atriarch now in the lead for a very short time. Bushmaster with the double hit. That's gonna cost Atriarch. Oh no, it's not looking good at all. It is not looking good for Atriarch at the moment. Can he make a comeback? Let's see. He's at only 1 HP. No! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I'm already worried, but I'm more worried for you, Atriarch. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Match point for Bushmaster. Go! Atriarch is kind of just weaving in between the, the attacks. Which is quite interesting. He's not that good at uh, dodging the forens yet, though. <laughs> oh, this is this is so much fun to watch. Actually, Atriarch with a big health advantage here. Can he make the comeback happen, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, that's a big hit from Bushmaster there, though. Man, I'm so nervous. Ooh, both players taking damage, I believe. And Bushmaster now at one HP. Wait, one more HP actually. Both players have one. Oh my oh. god! Yes! All right, now here's what we're gonna do, editors. I need you to somehow edit this video so that is the final. Make it so the one game I win is the one that wins the tournament. <laughs> and Atriarch wins the tournament. Yeah. Okay, so here's what actually happened. Both players still on two HP. Bushmaster missing. The deciding. Dash, slash, oh. how's nobody hitting each other? But Atriarch actually has the HP glitch. Atriarch is oh. done. <laughs> now with another target marked off the hit list, our contestants find themselves in the next round of the loser's bracket, where two more of them will meet their maker. Firstly, we will see CC Makai fight it out against Shade. Okay, um, I am... I am going to be banning Spore Shroom. No! Ah, uh, you sure about that, though? <laughs> you... <laughs> I'm not doing this. Not do no, no, not doing this. I really, really hope that my build is good. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so too. Because um, you gotta make uh, Coach Stizzle proud. Trust me when I say that this match went hard. It was by far the longest match in the tournament up until that point. Now that was partially because it was played best of nine now. But it was mostly because each round was fought so damn hard. The matches went one to one, two to two, three to three. And within those first six matches, we had two ties. Oh, and that's a tie. Both players at one. Oh, and again, a double kill. And then finally, after almost half an hour of those two being at war, they were approaching the five points they needed to advance. Oh, and there it is! Oh, dream nailing, what? Shay takes it <laughs> while CC tries to use the dream gate. Okay, three to three. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. CC is just kinda 
putting out massive amounts of damage. Oh, this is gonna be really hard to come back from. Oh, gosh. And CC, getting her down to 2 HP. Wait, what's Wait, happening? Why was he letting me heal? No! No. Oh god, okay. CC takes it. It didn't let me heal in the corner, what? Aw, that's too bad. It is too bad. Sorry, no Stizzle. No turtling for you. That's okay, though. Because guess what map we're going on to next? What? No Eyes Ascended. Oh no! Three, two, one, go. Match point for CC, by the way. Shade will want to win this one. Oh, massive hit from Shade. Good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, Shade looking to be advantageous here. I hate to say who's a who's ahead because then it always changes. It, it is called. It is known as the commentator's curse, and it it is always true. So uh, now CC is actually equal again. And uh, as you can see, as soon as I say that, it is not true anymore. CC at 1 HP! Uh, and CC down. is down! Is it, and that means... Ladies and gentlemen, tiebreaker time! Woo! Get your votes in now for which map. Uh, the maps... <laughs> it's Gorb. <laughs> it is gonna be Gorb. <laughs> Are you ready? This is your last match. It could be your last match for the entire tournament. Yeah. I'm ready. I wish you both the best of luck. May the best gamer ascend. Go! I'm really tensed up. I'm really, I'm really stressing out. CC just walked into that uh, dash slash. Man, I'm I'm about to cry, dude. <sighs> Gosh. Oh my god, CC's Carefree Melody! Undoing that double hit of damage. Insane. Oh, but that one hit! Oh my gosh, CC at 4 while Shade is at 10. Now both at 4. Incredible. Insane! Is CC going to take it? Is CC. Going to come out victorious! Shade at 1, CC at 2! Carefree Melody! What is happening? Oh my god! Oh my god! Shade takes it! With 1 HP! Holy shit! Oh my god! What was that? The drama! For Stizzle! Holy shit, for Stizzle! For Stizzle! For Stizzle! Holy <laughs> cow! After, after nine matches, I'm one dash slash made the difference. Well, good game, Shade. CC, good thanks game. for playing. Thank you so much for this uh, amazing showcase. Yeah, uh, I hope to, to be back. Uh, that was This was really fun. That was super this fun. This was extremely fun. So again, right. thank you guys well, so much for playing uh, in the tournament and playing tonight. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. I am going to win for Stizzle. I'm sure of it. I, I am going to win for him. Fellas, let's see if she can pull it off. But let me chip in right here. I told you there was a massive announcement coming in this video and it's right here. As you know, I've been working on the Taco Cup for quite some time, but that was not the only thing I've been working on. I'm kind of nervous to announce this actually, since it's so different from everything else that I've done before. But I think you're gonna like it. Play the trailer! Last year, we went on a more than 300 kilometer long cycle across Italy and recorded the entire thing. I feel so refreshed. It took us one full year to edit everything but man, was it worth it. We met so many incredibly friendly people. Our neighbor just came over and gave me a coat. How nice is that? Tried amazing food 
This is crazy, and it's also crazy big. Got into some honestly quite dangerous situations. But most importantly, we had a ton of fun. If we reach 9 Patreons, I will release this 9 part series onto my new channel. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Yeah, that's it guys! How do you like it? I've been sitting on this for so goddamn long, you don't even know. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support future events like the Taco Cup, like Operation Italy, like what I'm also about to announce at the end of this video, there's something else coming, then please consider backing the Patreon. It would honestly mean the world to me. The link is up there. Uh, actually, it's up there. <laughs> Check it out. And now let's get back to the video. Let's drag Sisipi and Bushmaster in. Did you see the last match? No, nah, it was nuts. Yeah, that was fortunate. That was absolutely crazy. And uh, now it's your guys' turn. Only one of you will prevail and uh, move on to the next round. And the oh, other one <laughs> is going to lose all it all. Right. So I hope you're excited to play this one. This is for all I'm the marbles. Hell. Yeah, but I'm also really nervous. This match started off pretty similar to the last one in that the first rounds went one to one and then two to two. But Hunt Hustle had taught Sisipi a secret new technique of which you could get a longer range what? on your nail art. This helped him pull ahead, winning oh. the next two rounds and leaving Bushmaster no more room for error. Oh, oh god! Oh. Match point number two. There's no way. There is no way. It's going to go oh. to the tiebreaker. Bushmaster cleanly clutched up both matches, which means it's now time for chat to decide on the tiebreaker. Oh no, Massive must charge. Massive must, must, must charge, you know. That's such a wide arena. It's <laughs> no. so huge. That, that match will go on for ages. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a Moss Charger attuned. This is this is a massive arena though. This is probably the biggest arena in the game. This is the grand finale. Three, two, one, go. Both of them are too powerful to be left alive. But one of them has to die here. And one of them will continue on. Bruh. <laughs> I'm complaining, I should, I should just be having fun right now. Wait, who took damage there? I heard a double damage. I'm noticing a recurring theme here. <laughs> Did Sisabi take a lot of damage here? Uh, am I... Am I going crazy? Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay! Interesting. Sisabi getting a heal off in this last of matches. And another heal. Only Baldur's Shell taking a hit. They both know what's on what's on the line. They both know this could this is their last match. And it could be the last one for the entire tournament. So they both are playing a bit passive. A bit more passively than they usually would. This is incredibly tense. Boosh Master! And one! And Sisipi! Takes it and moves on to the semi-finals. Holy crap, dude. That was insane. Now, after all these intense matches in the loser's bracket, I'd say it's time for a change. And luckily for us, the winner's bracket brings us a bunch of lighthearted comedy with Cranky vs. Hunt. And Cranky is <laughs> just drinking his juice. I love that animation. <laughs> um, that's, that's not looking good. I can see, um... If they want to like reconnect or something. What? Wait! 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 This was supposed to be a serious tournament. Now Cranky's doing it too. Yeah, it's it lagging very, a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it looked very laggy on my end. I couldn't tell where Hunt Hustle was. I'm gonna reconnect. Yeah, maybe both of you reconnect. It's looking good now. Yeah. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. Uh, let's let's redo the first round since that was not really working. Let's begin once again. In three, two, one, fight! 
Okay. And this time around... Oh, it's looking so much better. I was really scared there that nothing was gonna work out <laughs> and we'd have to cancel the tournament or something. Woo! Nah, we're chilling. But Cranky is not because Hunt is turning up the heat. Hunt absolutely toasted Cranky here. So much so, in fact, that I'm not even gonna show you the match. But I will show you the ending. Hunt Hustle still at 6 HP. Cranky now only at 7, which is not that big of a difference at all. Oh! Good game, Hunt Hustle. Okay! Wow, that means Hunt Hustle moves on to the finals of the winner's bracket. And Cranky, you're not out yet, you're just going down to the loser's bracket. The crazy thing is, both Cranky and Hunt had never lost a single round before that match. And still, Hunt just demolished him. But before we see Cranky or Hunt again, we have one of the most anticipated matches in the entire tournament. Fireborn versus Scurry. Scurry, Fireborn, you're up against each other. How, how do you feel about that? Nervous. <laughs> uh, I'm not nervous. Actually, I have a, uh, a suggestion to make it even, to raise the stakes a little higher. Oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh. So I was thinking if I win, Fire has to post a video of him saving a grub. Oh. And if Fire wins. If Fire wins, then I have to post a video of me killing a grub. Oh, God. Yes, I like this idea. Oh, that sounds horrible. I'm going to make you kill that grub, Scurry. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> this might be the craziest match yet. <laughs> I'll Which... ban Dashmaster. Dashmaster. Oh, All that's right. my go-to build. I just saw you use it. <laughs> <laughs> Fireborn came prepared, but Scurry had another ace up their sleeve. Okay, that, what the heck? That should have hit. Wait, what is oh. happening? It, it doesn't say I have invincibility on. <laughs> actually, incoming. actually, famous hit this player though. Now, we're here once again. Fight! Fireborn currently down on HP, and now they're chaining. Not anymore, Fireborn realizes the chain of events that are happening and decides to uh, be sending Dark. Oh, and Fireborn, taking a dip. Dipping his toes into the hot tub meta, I suppose. It's going now at only one HP. One more dash slash is going to do it. I just oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But that does give Fireborn the one oh. Ooh, Fireborn dealing a bit of damage there. Actually, a lot of damage. Wow. And Scurry this time breaking the chain of Forns. Forns sh should just be banned in general. Forns is such a bad charm. And there again, both players thinking the same thing, doing simultaneous simultaneous motions. Oh, and Scurry really quickly dies here. Fireborn takes this one. For the 2-0. Go. I want to see a tiebreaker right here. Let's get a tiebreaker. Ooh, Fireborn deals double damage, putting him in the lead. Scurry now also dealing a lot of damage. Those Forns, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do important damage. Those one or two hits of damage. Oh! What? What? Sporeshroom is not banned? Why did you guys not ban Sports Room? <laughs> I'm so used to it being banned by now. I was very surprised to see it right there. Yeah. That's the only time he used it, though. <laughs> Eternal Ordeal. Okay. Ooh. It's crazy how fast this match uh, has commenced so far. Fireborn already somehow in the lead with three points. I don't know what is happening. How is Fireborn dealing so much damage? While taking so little. Oh, Fireborn's probably using um, what's it called? Name Master's Glory, isn't he? Oh gosh, and Scurry already down to one HP. Oh wow! 
Fireborn on steroids. And now it's actually already 4 null, so it's a match point for Fireborn. When you guys are ready, match point starts in 3, 2, 1, go! Wait, what? Oh Kingdom my guys, gosh. Yeah. Fireborn surviving with 1 HP. GG. Wow, I did not GG. expect that outcome. I'll be honest. install the grab killing mod. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god. That means Fireborn, um, you won. And now go on to the semifinals. Following this match, Scurry uploaded this video to Twitter. Dude, never in a million years would I have predicted that Fireborn clean sweeps Scurry 5-0. Especially after Scurry did so well in their first couple of matches. But that now means Scurry is going down to the loser's bracket, where they'll face off against Sissipi, who's been patiently waiting, but who is also scared. Wow. Wow. I don't think I have a chance against Scurry. Can Sissipi overcome his fears? Or will Scurry take what they've learned in the winner's bracket and destroy Sissipi? Let's find out. I think this is going to be another very close match. I'll ban... Pale Knight. What is it? <laughs> Pure, Pure vessel. vessel? Okay. Take note, modders. Pale <laughs> Knight coming up next. <laughs> so, Sissipi, it is your pick first. And I want to remind you, this is best of 11. 11 hole, okay. Yeah. Sure. That's a lot. Um. Well, you've made it quite far. And now, when you guys are ready, fight! I love Scurry's map. Skin. Super cute. And yeah. Sissipi, yeah. also kind of cute, kind of intimidating. Ooh. Nice little dodge there from Scurry. Oh, that looked like it hit. Sissipi, now at one. Scurry at two. Scurry at one! Who's gonna get it? Uh -huh. Sissipi! Oh gosh, I thought it was one of you guys. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. Go! Ooh! Elite 4 battle music from Pokemon Black and White. I'm loving it! Yikes. Sissipi with a massive health advantage. Though, going for the kamikaze strat. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wait, Scurry's still alive. I thought Scurry. Whoa! What was that move? Oh, I know Go you got one health, by the way. <clears throat> Going under that spell. There's no way. There's no way Scurry's turning this one back around. Oh, yeah. Gucci. Fight. Oh, wow. Sissipi with the dash, slash, down, dash. Ooh. Ah, oh, Sissipi, going at it really hard right now. Wow! GG. Goop in the way. Ow. Did I just, did I just hit Taco again? Yeah. <laughs> Go! With the great party music playing in the background! Where it's actually an elimination match. Whoever loses this is gone for good. And uh, Sissipi is kind of roasting Scurry right now. I hope that they can make some sort of comeback here, because I wouldn't wish oh, it upon anybody to go out on uh, a double sweep. I did, that happened to me once, and that's not a great feeling. <laughs> this time around, Sissipi again, with a massive lead in HP. Oh, it's so close! Can Scurry make another hit here? Ooh. Uh, that hitbox, though. Hold on, our hitboxes are kinda crazy. Hitboxes? What's up with them? 
It's currently 4-0 for Sissipi, so Scurry, you're gonna have to turn on the turbo right about now. And we're starting in 3, 2, 1, fight! Alright, let me, let me actually try to analyze why Scurry is uh, on the losing end here. Uh, I believe it's because Scurry seems to be above Sissipi a lot without actually using the Sending Dark. The only time you want to be above someone is when you're using the Sending Dark. Because Nail Arts actually connect better when you hit Fire them below someone. Oh, and it's not looking good for Scurry at all. Scurry also dashing into a lot of hits from Sissipi. That, that can't be good, right? Dashing right into, into the knife of your opponent is never good. Scurry actually pulling off a heal. I doubt it is going to be enough for this one, though. Okay. Ooh! Scurry cancelling! The nail art from Sissipi. I already heard it! But it didn't quite... hit. This one did. 5-0. Match point now for Sissipi. So, uh, Scurry, choose the next map carefully. Because it could be the last. Sis- We're No, not Sis B. Ascended Marmu. Okay. Because I made the comeback on that map before. <laughs> Despite Sissipi downing himself a lot before the match, he was able to get a five point lead. If Scurry somehow managed to pull this one back around, this would certainly be a match for the history books. I wish you both the best of luck. Let's begin in three, two, one. Go! Somebody in chat saying, Scurry, cut them down like grass. That Let's was my see. original plan for this tournament. <laughs> it Ooh. turns out opponent players aren't as easy as grass. True. That's like a fair assessment. Ooh! This is looking like a bit of a comeback right here, though. Scurry with a massive amount of HP to use. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gotta watch for those iframes. Sissipi watched. And, still, nothing won for Scurry, but there it is! There it is! 5 to 1! Is this the start of the reverse sweep? The biggest one we've seen in the tournament. Scurry at 1! One more hit could be it for the tournament for Scurry! No. <laughs> Goodbye, Scurry. You will be missed. Meanwhile, in Cranky's match, that means you are now, like right now, going up against Anonymous Shade. Okay. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I feel a little bit better than uh, facing Hunt Hustle. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Anonymous Shade. Yeah. You're facing, <laughs> you're facing Cranky Templar, which means you may or may not have a bad time <laughs> soon. Oh, Stizzles in chat. Still says hi. You could do this, Shade. Yo, I'm. Hey, I'm in you. for this. I'm in <laughs> for this for him. Let's do this. All right. When you're ready, go. I also wanted to tell you guys that if we reach a hundred subscribers on Twitch, I'm going to do a low percent true ending live stream. Just like in one live stream. So uh, that's gonna be like a 48 hour run, plus, most likely. <laughs> And Cranky oh, takes the first round. I'm thinking first floor Gruz Mother. That's a real risky pick, I think. I wish you both the best of luck on this one. Let's begin. In three, two, one, go. Let's find out who's gonna come out victorious with this one. It's gonna be close. Shade is looking good on this one, actually. After. Oh! After dashing down into the spikes, not so much anymore. Oof. Simultaneous descending dark. Very interesting and Cranky. Cranky takes the second round. Uh, we'll go with Sisters of Battle Attuned. Hmm, I'm starting to see a pattern. <laughs> uh, let's do Sisters of Battle Attuned. This one's actually fun, it's got some spikes. It, it is, that's true. Three, two, one, fight. And this is... The loser's bracket. I just want to remind you, the person losing this match is going to lose 
$75 and their chance at $500. So the stakes are extremely high on this one. By the way, whoever wins this match is guaranteed at least fourth place, which gets $75. And whoever gets first gets $500. And obviously, we're all rooting for Shade <laughs> to fulfill Stizzle's destiny. We're gonna see if she can do that. But Cranky is a very tough opponent. Cranky's very good at the game. Oh, the iframes from Cranky right there. And Shade actually takes one back. Um, are we allowed to do the same map? If you both agree on it. I'm good with it. Fight. Ooh, and Cranky making a a solid comeback right here from initially being down at an HP to now dealing five damage in a row. Ooh, and Shade falling down into the spikes. That's no good. That's not looking good. Ooh, all right, though. All right. So Cranky goes up three to one. Cranky again, up ahead a little bit. Ooh, okay. Cranky healing too, and Shade actually undoing the heal. Cranky dealing one damage after that though. So technically, Shade took a hit, but because Cranky wasted so much soul, he had less spells and now actually went down a few HP because of it. Both players now low on HP. Any double hit could really change the outcome of the match here. Really exciting stuff. Both players at the same HP level. Shade going for the descending dog. It's not working. Because Cranky is in that little nook. That's what I was talking about earlier. That, that can give you a real big advantage. One more hit is going to decide it. Both players healing. Cranky healing a lot. Now Cranky at 1 HP. Shade at, Shade at 2. One more hit is going to decide it. This is it! Oh my god! Oh, wow! Game. That was so close! But I think what it came down to is uh, Cranky always going down in that little nudge on the platform below to heal. What? 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 <laughs> okay, I see it now. Wait, why is he just like. Okay, uh, let's just go in. Let's not pay attention to any. Circumstances. Three, two, one, joy. <laughs> Cranky actually at seven, now six HP. We got the HP bug again. Which is all right. We're just gonna have to remember that. So Shade is up one HP. Now three HP, two HP. Oh, it's gonna be real close. Oh, and Shade unfortunately getting hit. Really sad timing right there. Cranky also taking a hit. Now Shade is back in the lead. Can she land another double hit? One more hit is gonna do it for Shade. She doesn't know it though. She doesn't know that Cranky's at one HP. Just fire a singular spell, Shade, and you're you're done. You did it. Oh, and there it is. Shade barely takes it. Shade reverse sweep coming in. Uh, we're gonna see about that. We're gonna see about that. Three, two, one, fight. Somebody in chat saying, this HP bug is going to give me a heart attack. Me too! It did! Several times, in fact. <laughs> Both players about even here. Ooh! And Shade dashing over, over Cranky. I, I was going to say Hunt there. To not take any damage. Oh, and that, sh that Shade Soul, unfortunately not connecting there. Cranky being able to heal and now it's again back to even isn't that crazy oh if cranky had just hit that one that would have closed the curtains on this match Ooh. 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 oh that's real bad for shade oh my god you guys double kill double kill Ooh. let's begin the fight 
in three, two, one, go! Here it is once again. I just, I just can't say more than I already have. They are just perfectly evenly matched. There's just nobody clearly coming out ahead right now. Ooh, actually Shade though, with another double hit. Gonna make it work. Gonna be making it work, okay. Another heal. Oh, that one went off, I believe. Okay, Cranky. GG. Cranky takes this one. Match point for Cranky starts in three. Two, one, fight! Very exciting stuff. Both players hitting each other. Cranky going very far out and dashing back to the platform. Almost reminds me of uh, of Smash Bros. Right there, that. <laughs> Where players also go uh, very far out and around the map. And I didn't know that was a thing in, in Hollow Knight. That's kind of crazy. But... Maybe it's also kind of crazy risky right here. Cranky Templar taking a lot of damage. Also falling into the void. Now equalizing that damage though. After a series of very well thought out moves. Cranky just barely managing to not get hit by that dash slash. And Shade is out uh, of the game, tournament. Good game. Sorry Stizzle. Actually, Stizzle's in chat, and he's saying... I'm so proud of you, Shade. You did well! So, you made Stizzle proud, and uh, that's what matters most, I <laughs> think. And unfortunately, that now means Shade is out of the tournament. I would have really wished her to win it all, you know? But, that's not how gaming tournaments work, now is it? <laughs> so that means Cranky now moves on to face Sissipi in the semi-finals of the loser's bracket. Now you might remember that those two have played before and Cranky absolutely crushed Sissipi with 4 -0. Now Cranky only won! Both players are one! Fuck. And Cranky! <laughs> GG. You, uh, you had me on the ropes. I was like really worried the entire time. Man. <laughs> now I'm curious. If all this training and all the practice that Sissipi has done in the meantime can bet him a shot at redemption. This time it's for all the marbles. And we're not using charms this time, I believe? Right. From now on, there is no more charms. So it's all I... skill, no gimmicks. Ooh. Also, both of you have made it to the top four. So congratulations for coming this far. You're winning money, Ooh. at least $75. And if you win this match, you're getting at least $175. So oh, wow. try your hardest. Mad. Even if I lose, like I'm happy that I got this far, to be honest. Let's, likewise, this has been a lot of fun. And thank you for putting this together, Taco. Oh, for sure. Like, uh, yeah. I'm having a blast commentating the matches. It's definitely been worth the investment of $1,000. <laughs> But yeah, I'm having a ton of fun, and uh, I mean, from what I've been hearing, you guys are too, so I couldn't be more happy. Honestly. Loser's Bracket Semi-Finals begins in 3, 2, 1, fight! Here it is, boys. Here it is. The Semi-Finals. For $175, may I add. Both players at 1 HP. Oh, that looked so close for Cranky there. Wow. Oh. Because when something like that happens, you get hit and Ooh. fall into the void like, like that. You're already down 2 to 3 HP, which is quite a lot. Solid stuff. Ooh. And this to be taking a dive. You know, when you stare into the abyss, it stares back into you, and I think Sissipi got curious. Ooh, and Cranky! Oh, oh Cranky! Fucking, taking oh it! God, I'm not even mad. That was a good shade soul. <laughs> wow! I was just going on a rant about how hard it is to hit shade souls now without uh, any shaman stone. Oh. Sissipi, it's your song! The Devourer of Gods track is playing in the background right now. Alright, I gotta win this. You gotta make this one work. 
Alright, let's begin! In three, two, one, fight! Amazing song from DM Dukuru. Is this the non stop mix? Yes, it is. Oh, this is the remix. No, okay. We gotta get the real song in a sec. I should not show that. Because it doesn't seem to be working out for Sisyphe. Ooh! Ooh close call! <sighs> Sisyphe now, Edemir, 1 HP. Can he make the comeback? Two great slashes or dash slashes is what he needs. There's the first! It seems possible, certainly! Oof. What? Demon. Wow! He jumped absolutely last second to dodge that. Can he make it? There's no way! Zero percent chance! Oh, good game, Sisby. And there's a double kill! Wow! With Sisby being down 2-0, let me switch into real song now. Three, two, one, fight! Here we come, here we go. This is Sisyphe's song, so he better win this. That last one was crazy close. Uh, maybe the only reason he didn't win the last one was because it was a remix and not the actual song. And the song does seem to make a huge so difference right now. Even distracting Cranky so much that he jumps into the void voluntarily. Well, and Sisyphe... Takes it! Of course he takes it with that music playing in the background. I can't <laughs> match the music, I'm afraid. Wow! Well played. Yes, this is the loser's bracket semi-finals. So whoever loses this one is out of the tournament. Cranky now down to 5 HP Sisipi at 7. Sisipi making a solid comeback right here. Ooh, Sisipi with a dirty descending dart. Barely scraping by. Through Cranky's dash slash and Cranky is now Good game. dead. Sisipi takes the lead now. Three to two. What happened? Cranky was having such a mega solid start. And now he seems to be struggling. What what did Sisipi do during his break? Oh my gosh! If you didn't know this, Cranky couldn't land a single hit during two of those matches. So the music certainly worked. But that music had now ended. Fight! Yes, first to 13 is quite long, but there's uh, only a few matches remaining. This is the third or fourth to last match. Cranky seems to have regained his confidence. Oh! Amazing dash slash! Sorry, great slash! That was insane! That was insane! He knew that he had to turn oh, around GG. there! That was GG. Wow. wow, well played. No, not the bees. <laughs> Originally, it was my idea uh, for the finals to just have people fighting with the bosses also in the arena. I don't know, that would have introduced a lot of randomness. I wanted to make it as skill-based as possible. Fight! I just have to destroy the glass, sir. First it was the grass, now the glass. What is this man gonna cut Ooh. down next? Apparently, cuts. he's going to get cut down by Cranky, unless commentator's curse is hitting, Ooh. but no! Oh, I'd love to see a tiebreaker here, but I think you probably don't. <laughs> it's probably already Maybe not from nerve wrecking enough. All right. I wish they were up there watching us. They're just not there. <laughs> they're they're watching from the internet as well, along with everyone else. With that, let's begin in three, two, one, fight! I really don't know who's gonna win this. I mean, nobody really knows, right? The poll was 55 to 45. I'm not sure who was in the lead on that poll, but um, it seems to be a uh, a consensus on nobody really knows who who's winning this. All the more exciting. Oh, Sisipi, because he used that dash slash there, he didn't fall into Cranky's dash slash. Cranky did, though, which puts him at a big disadvantage. Now with only two. Now with only one HP. He can't heal, I don't think. And one more hit is gonna do it. Oh. What? Ooh, did Sisipi. I not press C? Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, that's it. GG. Three, two, one, fight. Forgot how easy it is to feel on this one. Oh, yeah. Sisipi diving into the abyss once again. He likes to do that a lot. It seems. Oh <laughs> he likes to do that a lot. Maybe this was not the best choice of map for him. <laughs> oh, Cranky also almost taking a bit of a dip. The thing is, both players don't see as far out as I do, so they have to guess where the other person is. And Sisipi. <laughs> Sisipi doing it again! Out. I think he's just doing it to entertain the crowd at this point. Cranky joining in on that one! Sisipi, a trendsetter right here in the Hollow Knight community. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, with this very ginormous map, people tend to heal. People, when they don't see each other, they tend to heal. Oh! And Sisipi seems... To have gotten a bit of an edge now. Ooh! But Sisipi is now also back down in the abyss, and Sisipi takes the round. I'm never picking Umu ever again. I know. Oh, let us never <laughs> speak of that match again. <laughs> <laughs> match point for Sisipi in the $175 match, right here. I wish both of you the best of luck in this one. Thanks. Let's start in three, two, one, fight! Oh, Sisipi starting off strong with a double hit. J jumping over Cranky's. Ooh, oh, I was so certain Cranky was gonna get hit there, but he didn't. Oh, and he does hit Sisipi there, though. Oh, almost with another hit, back to back. Ooh, but now Sisipi, this one does connect from him. Cranky fires a spell back, now both players down to 4 HP. This could be it. Cranky's hit connects, Sisipi's doesn't. Sisipi! Now down to 2 HP. One more. Dash, slash, or great slash is going to do the trick! Oh my god, Sisipi hits him out of it! So close! Insane! Inhuman reactions! What is this? Whoa! Cranky dodging that, weaving right through! Sisipi not falling in there! Because he also has the dash lights! Now Cranky down to 2 HP! Sisipi with the charge nail up! Misses by an inch! And now, any double hit will take it! Sisipi chooses to go for the dash slash! Oh, wow. And... GG. Takes oh it! Sisipi really so moves time. on to the finals of the loser's bracket. Oh my god, you guys. You're killing Holy me. Shit. Cranky, that was really fucking intense. <laughs> hey, <sighs> thanks for the great fight, Sisipi. Alright, well thank you. L -O -D -S and good luck, Sisipi. Yeah, you too, man. Oh fuck, why did I say that? <laughs> Kinda <laughs> talks. So Alright. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the match that everybody's been waiting for since the start of the tournament. It was always gonna happen. Hunt Hustle against Fireborn. Welcome, you guys. Hey, how's it going? That's not how you pronounce Hunt Sussy. So, Fire, you get to pick the first map. Let's go with Soul Warrior, because it's here. <laughs> All right. I don't want to exhaust myself going all the way to the other side of the Hall of Gods. The poll on who's going to win this one is pretty close to 50-50. And I feel the same. Yeah. You guys are pretty equally very highly skilled. So I wish both of you the best of luck. You may begin in three, two, one, fight! Here we go, boys! This is it! And Hunt Hustle going for a... Very odd build here, it seems. Using only 10 HP, as opposed to the maximum 14 that you can have. I'm wondering, is Hunt planning something? Oh! Oh, and actually, Fireborn takes the first round. What's your follow-up to that? I suck. Mm, okay, well, what's your follow-up map? 
<laughs> I choose Moloch. I honestly don't know how Fire won that first one so gosh darn quickly. Hunt Hustle was just absolutely crushing everybody. But now even he seems to struggle against Fire. Against the one and only, the OG God Gamer. Actually, I suppose the winner of the tournament is gonna be able to call himself the God Gamer. So let's see if Fireborn can defend his title. <laughs> oh, it's not looking so good right now. Fire only at, at 2 HP. Now with the Spore Shroom Cloud. Oh wait, is that Fire's or Hunt's? I believe it's, it's Hunt's Spore Shroom, right? Ooh, real close now. Fire using a lot of his spells, but it's not gonna be enough. And Fireborn down to 4 HP. Hunt Hustle trying to evade damage with that Belder Shell. Not quite working out though, because he got, goes out of it too early. Now Fireborn is in a bit of a pickle here. He's trying to heal. He's using Spore Shroom. And it's sort of working out. He's been... He's dealt the damage to Hunt Hustle. You could argue... You could argue it's not that massively effective. Ah, uh, does deal one more damage and doesn't get hit by the Swarm Shroom Cloud, deals another damage. It's not looking so clear anymore on who's winning this round. Except Fireborn is now down to his last HP. And Hunt Hustle still has five. Ooh, wow! What a dodge from Fireborn with the dash, Shade Cloak, fight. And Fire with a very unpopular opinion here. Unpopular charm build, only sitting at a mere 9 HP, opting to not use any sort of health charms. Well, he certainly has Spore Shroom. How does he not have Baldur Shell, though? At only 9 HP? That's weird. That's weird. That's a really weird charm build, Fire. What is his game plan? I don't get it. Fire is still opting for the same charm build, though. I guess he was serious about practicing with that new charm build. I don't get why he's not using Belder Shell though. Belder Shell is not banned. Oh, actually, it's not the same charm build at all. I see now. Okay, so that's what he was plotting. Hunt Hustle being extremely aggressive here, trying to go for as many nail arts as possible to keep Fireborn under pressure and prevent him from healing. And it is sort of working out. Fireborn does get a few heals off, but. His lack of HP at the start of the fight does cost him. It's uh, making it a bit uncomfortable for him right here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh! God. Real close one. <laughs> oh, Omu. Oh, Omu? Umu? Emu? Yes. Yes, okay. Ah, oh, just look at him go, fire! Well played. Hydration time, boys. Make sure to drink enough water, everybody. Do it. Fireborn somehow turning this around big time to the point where Hunt Hustle is now at only 1 HP, now healing back to 4. Which does save him from death right there. And now it's two to two. Crazy, crazy. Who's gonna come out ahead? It is Hunt Hustle. Wow. I believe Hunt was down to one HP at some point there. Oh, God. <laughs> Fireborn, it is your pick. Choose this one wide though, as it is the match point. Oh boy. Where should we go? Let's, let's just do Galleon. Both players going really hard here. Both players about equal. Ooh, and Fireborn stopping Hunt from healing there. Actually taking a double hit after the heal, which means Hunt now has less soul than Fire. And also less HP! GG. Fireborn GG. takes this one. Can he make the comeback happen? Ooh, and Hunt Hustle takes it! Of course not! Of course not! He was down like 5 to 2! GG. With 1 HP! I knew he was close. <laughs> Hunt Hustle with the upset, sending 
Fireborn, the god gamer, to the loser's bracket. Now, let's take one last look at the bracket. As you can see, Fireborn is now facing Sisipi in the finale of the loser's bracket. And whoever wins this match goes up against Hunt Hustle in the grand finals. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I'm just happy I'm in the finale. Uh, are we using charms for this match? There's no charms anymore. No charms except King Soul. Okay. Now, let's begin in three, two, one, fight. Here we go. Sisipi against Fireborn. The two spike tunnelers. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, both of these guys actually uh, finished the world's longest spike tunnel. Oh. And now they're up oh, against each other. Finished. Fighting it out. Ooh, and fire pulling ahead very far. Crazy. Oh my god, I got annihilated there. Wow. So, Sisipi, how does it feel to get sweeped? <laughs> uh, I have no comment. You've seen both sides of the coin. <laughs> <laughs> and now, after Sisipi hits me again, as always, <laughs> fight. I'm noticing a bit of a pattern here. There's a lot of spikes in the maps they've been choosing oh, so far. Hell? Hmm. Spike tunnel race should be this fight instead of PvP in God Home. That's 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 fair. You know, I would we would do it if we could, but unfortunately we don't have the mods set up for that. <laughs> that could be the tiebreaker. Who could finish it the fastest? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Ah, but I didn't think of that. Obviously, I didn't know that this mo this match was gonna happen. But it is, and Sisipi this time around. Oh, uh, Jujuy. Do it a lot better. Yeah, nice quick. How much health for you? Not quite Four. enough. This time. For the first time, I believe, Sisipi goes up ahead. Oh, wow. Can't believe that didn't hit. And now Fireborn is in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, I believe Sisipi was quite nervous at the start of this. Because obviously, fighting Fireborn, you don't, you don't do that every day, right? Um, but now he's starting to regain his confidence a bit. You can tell by his playstyle. Also, by uh, both players' HP right now. Sisipi, one hit away from well, maybe the start of the comeback. What? How did that not connect? How did that not connect? That's crazy. There it is. Okay. Fight. Fireborn takes advantage of that with a Cyclone Slash and this one. He is gonna be real close. Sisipi at 1 HP, Fireborn at 2. Who's gonna take it? Oh, Fireborn now also at 1. Ooh. Oh! Oh my down. god! Fireborn barely takes this round. <laughs> Both Sisipi and Fireborn have learned under Hunt Hustle. So, uh, whoever wins, they will be fighting their master, you could say. Okay, that's where, where I would have gone. Right after fire fired the last one. Oh, wow, that's a lot of firing in that sentence. Sisipi now at 1 HP! Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> fire knows it and takes full advantage of it. 4 to 1 for fire. Oh my god, my dash didn't work again. Scary stuff. I, I personally wouldn't just dash onto the wall right there. From the side. That is uh, very risque, uh, especially now I wouldn't do it at 1 HP. Oh, Sisipi, whoa, whoa! Oh, and Fire uh, knew, Fire absolutely knew about that. Fire continuing on with his killing spree, now up to 5 for 1. Is Grossmother banned? Grossmother is not banned. Ban Markov, I think. I'm gonna send it to Grossmother then. It's great oh, as well. okay. Oh, shit. One of the most beloved and also one of the most hated maps at the same time, and you can definitely see why. Was this the map where Sisipi could turn it all around? Go! Mega high pressure situation for both players here. And uh, and you can tell, there's a lot of nerves in, in their playstyle. They're not playing as clean as they used to, not as confident. Uh, we could see that especially in the match Sisipi versus Cranky earlier, where they played Umu Ascended and both players 
just okay. kept falling into the abyss. And Sisyphe wins this one. Grasmata paid off. Surprise Grasmata always works. Now back to 5-2. to two. Fight. And Sisyphe is looking to be making a bit of a comeback here. Fireborn going for the descending dark. It's not working out. Sisyphe now charged up with the dash slash Fireborn has iframes from descending dark. This one did work out for him. Let's see if Sisyphe manages to land one more hit. Sisyphe now down to two HP. And Fireborn needs to land one dash or great slash to take it. Oh my gosh, that was so close. If that one had hit, Fireborn would have taken this round. And gotten to the match point. Let's see if Sisyphe can make it happen here. Or Fireborn. Oh my oh, gosh, Fireborn yeah. takes it. Whew, six to two. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Match point for Fireborn. And Sisyphe starting off strong right here. With two yeah, double no hits. Fireborn answering with a double hit back. And it's Fireborn so down to three HP. Sisyphe down to four. It's not, it's not a done deal at all. Sisyphe hitting once again. Fireborn hits back with the dash slash. It's obviously all the pressures on Sisyphe. Oh my god! How did that not connect? Fireborn again, same situation as last time. At one HP for so long. Can Sisyphe deal one more damage? Let's see here. The next hit is going to decide it! <laughs> and it is Fireborn again! With one GG. HP! Ah, that it's always one, bro. Okay, GG, man. <laughs> that was really dense. I don't think there's anything to be sad about. You made the third place. You made the podium in the tournament here, and you walk away with $175. That's Ooh. not that bad, is it? Hmm. Not bad at all. There's a lot of people in here, so... I was in the loser's bracket for so long. <laughs> yeah, that's a really impressive comeback. You've, you've been there like since the second round or something, no? Yeah. Cranky, something crazy. Uh, round two, four owed me. Then I had to clutch up all the way to round six in the loser bracket. And then you took that revenge on Cranky, threw him out of the tournament, got third yeah. place. Solid stuff. Well played. I'm happy. I'm happy with how good I did. Thank you so much for playing Sisyphe. Yeah, thanks yeah, so much. Thanks for hosting us. Oh, for sure. It's been a blast. I want to do another one. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hey, we might do another one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of the Taco Cup. This is it. Gaming. And these are our two finalists, Fireborn versus Hunt Hustle. We knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Time to get my ass whooped again. <laughs> how you guys? How you guys feel? Okay, Fireborn, you're not feeling too confident. I think it'll be a good match. I am petrified. <laughs> yeah, I feel a bit better about Charmless because I was having a lot of trouble with Falter Shell Sports Room. I mean, in a yeah. lot of the matches last time, you had uh, four less HP than, than Hunt, which obviously makes a big difference. Yeah, my charm builds were questionable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to warn you, uh, I suppose, Fire, you came from the loser's bracket, so that means if you win, you don't win the tournament yet, then you have yep. to play the finale again. We gotta do a bracket reset. Exactly. But if Hunt wins this one, he gets it all. Let's just uh, ban Markoth again. No, okay. let's not ban Markoth. Oh. Sorry. Can I can I do a take back? If Hunt agrees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thanks, Hunt. Let's ban Gres Mother. I didn't like that map. Can I ban Marmoo? Of course you can. Do you want to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Marmoo yes, it is. Now let's take a deep breath before we start. And Fireborn, uh, you can think about your first pick. Uh, let's do the customary Soul Warrior start because it's right here. <laughs> okay, of course. Now, let's begin with the grand finale in three, two, one, go! Okay, 
This is hype, ladies and gentlemen, the finale. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is what it all comes down to. Sissipi says, okay, off to edit all the clips I recorded. Thanks, Taco. Love the tournament. That's awesome, Sissipi. Thank you so much for playing once again. And thank you, everybody, for playing. Thank you, Tsira, also, for playing. Thank you, Blue, for playing. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. I had so much fun doing this. And I hope you all did, too. Both players at 3 HP with the Simul Dark. That's just what I'm going to call it now. Oh, Hans... Hans dash slash just what? barely not that connecting. <laughs> but that one did. Wow. GG. Nice hitboxes. Yep. <laughs> Saw that one too. And uh, let the fight begin. Go. Here it is. Fireborn already down to his last free HP. I don't know how Hunt Hustle does it. But he always seems to be at a bit of a bit of an advantage. Always having a bit of an edge. Ooh, Fireborn actually takes him down to 2 HP. Hunt Hustle had the same idea there, but didn't fire that off in time. And Fireborn equalizes to 1-1. One, one. Wow. That was super close. And that would be a recurring theme throughout the next matches. So I'd say, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Elder who... Oh, okay. Good thing Adrian is not here. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, Adrian would destroy everybody on this map. <laughs> He's just standing there, menacingly. Somehow still doing a ton of damage. Let's begin. Go! Now both players at 1 HP! And Fireborn! Fireborn is quick to pull the trigger. I mean, I've said it before, but they're competing for $500 right now. And Hunt, once again, going in the lead. Ooh, none of those connecting! It's looking real scary! Fire one falling into the spikes, very unfortunate. Oh, Fireborn actually getting Hunt in that corner right there. Ooh, that was kind of close. Man, no Hunt scary and Fireborn clinging to the spikes. Ooh, okay, that one actually hit Hunt. Now both at 2 HP. Any double hit could be the difference here. Oh, Hunt. Very smart. Yeah, Paul going on the spikes. Fire, did you see me go in the corner? <laughs> yes, I did. Or did you guess? And I, I remembered you doing that in practice. Uh, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, let's see Mark off ascended. Good pick. So, let's begin in 3, 2... One fight. Fireborn down by 2 HP. This could change very rapidly though. As we see right here, it's closing into 1 HP and now a 0 HP gap between both players. Fireborn barely missing that Shade Soul. If he had hit that, Hunt Hustle could not have hit that great slash dash slash. He would have not taken 2 HP of damage. But he managed to recover quite well from it. Oh, and now he's hitting Hunt real bad, real hard. Hunt, he's a bit scared. He's a bit worried. Oh! And Hunt taking a dive into the abyss. Giving Fireborn the W. So now it is 4 to 3 for Hunt. Rooting Molly to 2. Let's begin with this one. In 3, 2, 1, fight!
whenever you get hit first, it's just a really bad feeling. And uh, Fireborn just did. He does manage to come back. Pull a comeback of sorts. Oh my gosh, and that hitbox still lingering. Ooh, but Hunt also now down to 2 HP. Fireborn, will he realize? Oh, oh my no. god! No <laughs> way! One mask. I could have maybe buggered that, damn it. No way. Fireborn was now down 3 to 5, which meant Hunt Hustle only needed two more wins to win the entire tournament, while Fireborn still needed four wins just for the bracket reset. Uh, let's do Sisters Battle. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1, go! Here it is, here it comes! Why is the music so chill? It's not supposed to be that way. I got you, bro. That's better. I knew you were gonna like it. Cause oh, you're hell me, yeah. you know? Break the targets from Brawl. Yeah, it's okay. great, right? Alright, alright. Yes. Yes, please. Hunt dealing damage, Fireborn answering with a damage of his own, with free damage in fact. And now Hunt is in a bit of a peculiar situation. Fireborn Better than the great right into the spikes though. Not getting hit by Hunt's descending dark because of the iframe. What is this? What are these hitboxes? Fireborn now down to 5 HP. Hunt Hustle still holding on to his free. Fireborn barely dashing off of the wall. To not take damage by the spikes. Solid stuff. Ooh, Hunt Hustle. Of course, with a charged nail art not being able to hit upwards, he could have jumped, I suppose. But very difficult situation right there. Hunt now down to 1 HP. Fires at 4. Very quick thinking by Fire there, pogoing the spikes. I would have probably fallen into those, I'm not gonna lie. And now, oh, one more hit. He doesn't know, though. He does not know. Oh, and there it is. 4 to 5. Can I just say that that round was kind of crazy? Like, you were pulling some sick strategies. Three, two, one, go. Fireborn down a lot of HP, now equalizing though, of sorts. Or looking to equalize, he's still one HP down, which in the long run... ...will hurt him, but he's found a way back into this game. Ooh, Simul Dash. Simul Dark, sorry. Cool stuff, cool stuff, and Fireborn <laughs> now with the Equalizer to 5-5. Five. Five. Are we actually gonna go for the bracket reset? Let's Are we do, maybe gonna uh... see a tiebreaker? Fire somehow brings it back to even. We're in the end game now. 3, 2, 1, go! This is it. This arena is very tricky, because you can't pogo very high up on the wall. These spikes, they are... they hurt as much as they look, shall we say. When you get... when you run into them, uh, it's bad news. And that's sort of in a uh, quite comfortable lead here. Which uh, Fireborn, I'm sure, is not going to like. Now at 1 HP. Oh, oh shit. GG. GG. Fireborn. It's a match point. This right here is not only the match, but also the tournament point. Go! This is it. With uh, an amazing soundtrack playing in the background from Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Of that game. But we should focus. Both players down to 5 HP. Ooh, and Fireborn running right into that. Ooh, but also equalizing. To get both down to 3 HP. Fireborn. One more hit, and he's done. And that's the end. Is this it? Hunt Hustle barely missing. Barely missing with that one again. One more hit is going to do it for E to play here. How did that not hit? Fireborn, oh my god! Oh my god! 
How is none of this hitting? F hand hustle! Kids, take it by the pressure! Both on one HP! Who is going to take it here, folks? It is nice. Hunt PG. Hustle! He takes it! With a mere one HP! I got so impatient with that shade soul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Hold up, it's not over yet. There's something really important still coming, and if you've made it this far into the video, you do not want to miss it. And it's Hunt Hustle! Ooh. Well played. That oh, really well good. played, you guys. Fai, do you have a heart rate Ooh. monitor right now? Oh, do that I? Yeah. Close? Yeah. Yep. yeah. I what, what's like your heart rate? 155. Yeah. I, I feel like mine is somewhere around there, too. Wow. Congratulations, uh, Hunt Hustle, for winning the entire tournament. That's fucking crazy. Without ever losing a singular match. And Fireborn. You came real close to taking him down. Absolute solid performance from both of you guys. And uh, thank you so much for, for joining the tournament. Thanks so much, Taco. You know, that was a lot of work and stuff, so really appreciate it. Been in the works for, for five months. Uh, it's closer to like one and a half years now. But I think it was worth it. I had crazy fun. This was maybe the most yeah. exciting stuff uh, I've done, like, in my Twitch career over my seven years on the platform. It might be the most cool. fun I've had with multiplayer mod, personally. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. It's really good. Right after the tournament ended, some weird stuff happened. For example, I challenged Hunt to a one-on-one -on -one fight to try to take the crown back from him. And you can see how that went on the Patreon. And I also offered him to exchange his $500 prize for this. Hunt? So I got a question for you. You have two options here now, okay? Yes, sir. You now have the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to forfeit your prize for, wait for it, this. You could have a beautiful, delicious taco. What do you say? Yes, please. Do you want to forfeit your prize? <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, okay, let's go, woo! Here you go. You know, the thing is that he wasn't exactly joking when he said that he was gonna forfeit his prize. Before the tournament began, he told me that he probably wasn't going to join. When I asked him why, he told me that if he did win, he couldn't accept the prize money. To which I replied that he could put the winnings towards a charity in this case. And guess what Hunt Hustle said to me after the tournament. I was wondering if you could put $250 in charity, and you can keep the other $250. $500 is too much. No way! Yes way. Are you sure? Yes sir. I tried to give him the $500 guys, I promise. I really did. But he was not having any of it. And so, we donated half of it. Can I donate to the Trevor Project? Of course! And so we donated to the Trevor Project, an organization providing mental health support for LGBTQ youth in crisis. I've put a link in the description where you can donate as well. Also, we will be doing a massive charity event in December, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, lastly, I just want to say thank you guys so much for going on this crazy journey with me. I hope you had just as much fun as I did creating this tournament and uh, I'm hoping to be doing more events like this soon.